Hi everyone, Neil here, co-founder at iLevel, the company behind GroundX, the world's first APIs to build enterprise-grade RAG. Not only are these APIs powerful, but I'm going to show you today how simple they are. I want to show you our back-end uh, dashboard tool, a simple GUI that lets you ingest content and manage it and do unique instant evaluation on your data to make sure it's ready for RAG. I'm going to show you how simple that is with our technology. So first things first, you're on the home page and you see this button here, New Buckets. I'm going to click that. I'm going to call this My First Bucket. Okay. In GroundX, we organize your content by buckets. You can have as many buckets as you want. Every bucket could have as many files as you want. And when you build a RAG application, you simply search one or many buckets and that builds the, the basis of your application. So now, to upload some content, of course you can do this all with API. Uh, I'm going to click, I'm just going to drag, by the way, drag the files right here. You could also click to upload if you want to. And hit, I'll move myself here, and hit upload file. Okay. And this will take a few minutes. Now we do a lot of processing on these documents. So our ingest is a little bit longer than most. Uh, we actually built a vision model uh, trained on a million pages of enterprise documents. The purpose of this is to try to parse and understand your complex visual documents and turn them into LLM ready data. So we actually brought together a vision model and a multimodal model as part of this ingest engine. And I'm going to show you in a minute when we do the instant eval, you're visually going to see how we turn your complex document into LLM ready data. Okay, now the file ingest is complete. I click done. And I want to uh, look inside that bucket and take a look at this file. And I click my first bucket here on the left and can do that. Great. You see, here's the Walmart packing guide, this document I uploaded. We could do a number of things here. We can chat with this document. We can show just the retrievals of this document. But first, I want to show you this powerful tool that's very unique called an X-ray. If I click on the X-ray, what you're going to see here, this is the Walmart document. I'm going to start to rifle through the pages. And what you'll see is colored boxes on different objects on the page. What are we looking at? Well, this is our vision model showing you where it finds, where it detects text objects, table objects, and graphical objects, which we call figures. And that can include pictures or charts, anything that's, that's visual. And if you click on these objects, you'll see what we turn it into. I'm going to click on this table. You'll see we recognize it as a table. And we have here the suggested text, which is what we recommend you actually send to the LLM. And you'll see at the top of the suggested text is a summary here. We're, we're going to explain to the LLM what this chunk is about as if the language model is blind because the language model is essentially blind. And just like you and I, it does better when you explain what the data is going to be before you give it the data. So you see here the following table contains updates on Walmart supply chain standards for September 2, 2024. And there's changes such as barcode requirements, pallet specifications, and so on and then we feed it the data. Uh, you could also do this in JSON format. Same idea. A lot of engineers prefer the JSON. Some language models prefer JSON. Some prefer our suggested text. We give you both with every chunk. There's also a file summary that comes with every chunk. And the file summary uh, is also important when sending things to a language model. Why? A language model needs context to understand what your chunks are about. A file summary helps it do that. Last here, we also have keywords. This improves our RAG search. So let me show you something a little more interesting. Let's eval a, uh, a page here that has a very complex diagram on it. If I click on this, narrative text here, this is, again, this is like the summary that explains what this is about. This flowchart begins with determining if the item is new or existing, a sample must be submitted in the exact packaging for production, and so on and so forth. This is actually a, a complex flowchart that describes the process for testing the packaging you send to Walmart if you want to become a vendor and sell them as a supplier. 
And we describe that here in nice narrative text. Here's the part that's really amazing. First of all, recognize it's a figure, right? Recognize it's a graphic. Now I'm gonna click on the JSON format. We're literally breaking this table of this chart apart and explaining it piece by piece to a language model. So first we explain here are all the components that are gonna be on this flow chart. And then we describe piece by piece um, each component of this flow chart. So first you have a new existing item, its target, where it's going on the flow chart, is to submit a sample in the exact packaging. Uh, and it's a process type. Next you have here the um, submitting a sample. Its target is SIOC requirement. I'm going to show this to you in the flowchart in a second. Then you have SIC requirement. Its target, what it's linked to, is does the item ship LTL? And then it goes into all these decision tree issues. Okay. If I now show you this X out of this. If I show this to you and zoom in, you'll see it's exactly as, as our model described it. You start with a new existing item, you submit a sample in the exact packaging, you check if it's SIOC required, and then you go through these decision trees. Really clean, right? So the purpose of this tool is to help you instantly evaluate your documents and make sure that they've been ingested properly and turned into clean, relevant, LLM-ready data. The next thing you could do, by the way, is you could chat with that instantly. And um, in most of our uh, panels here, we actually give you the source code for the action that you need to take if you want to do this uh, in pure code. On the left side, though, here's our little chat. Uh, and uh, we'll say, uh, explain the brand transit process. That's what we were looking at for Walmart in great detail. And you give it, you know, 10 seconds and it should give us a nice, clean, uh, really accurate answer based on that pretty complex diagram, which is very difficult for most RAG systems to do. Okay. The other thing you can do here that's interesting in terms of evaluation, what's the step in RAG before sending things to a completion model? Remember RAG is you ingest your documents, you then essentially search your documents and you get back retrievals, and then you send those retrievals or some version of those retrievals to a language model as the context for completion. We're going to show you here, if I click on this, the retrievals that you get directly out of Groundex before being sent to a language model. So let me show you this, same question. Uh, explain in great detail the brand transit process uh, at Walmart. You notice that executes a bit faster because that is just getting our retrievals out of ground X. Uh, that always happens in under three seconds, typically faster than that. So this is a little complex, what you're looking at, okay? So I'm gonna break it down and make it simpler what, the, what this really is. All right, so look, here's our query, explain in great detail, dot, dot, dot. If I click on that, this is our question, right? Here are the results. And if I click on the results, this is basically an array of the results. Uh, our standard is 20 retrievals, but you can go up to 100. I'm going to close some of these just to make this visually simple to look at. Okay, so let's go to the first one. You get these bounding boxes. What are those? Well, those are literally the bounding boxes you saw the x-ray create. Literally, we tell you, we describe where exactly on a page we tell you the document is from. Um, that's down here, the file name. Here's the document ID if you want to use internal data. Here's the multimodal URL. This is literally the cutout of whatever this object is. You get it as a graphic, as a JPEG. And the bounding box describes its coordinates on the page. This is really powerful to display things in an end user application if you want. Um, and here's the suggested text, essentially. So, um, you know, this is a good way to eval your retrievals without letting the language model sort of get in the way at the far side. And so, that's the core of, of, of really what it is here. It's as simple to build these applications as ingest your documents, search your documents, and send those retrievals to the large language model for completion. Hope you have a good time and get great results using GroundX.